And I do feel like we were called to come to Alaska. Don't know why, you know, but it was a good three days of God bothering, bothering, bothering us. I walked into a pastor, I said, we, we gotta take some kids to Alaska. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, praise the Lord, man, hallelujah. We are at BBS at Cross Country Church. BBS is like really fun to me and just teaching all the kids about Jesus and just having fun with them. Cool to see how younger kids experience Jesus. And how, how did you go about getting those tattoos? I was high on drugs. Being a drug dealer and a biker, I partied with uh, Hell's Angels. What do you think would be like the most courageous thing you've done in your life? Come to the Lord. I really learned that you can just love on people. No matter what, your love will have an impact on them. Um, these kids were awesome representatives of our community. You would be proud of all the work that they did. So people, you know, if they come, oftentimes they need more than just one service. You know, for the person, that spiritual need comes into play too. So when I came to this place, they gave me food, and they gave me clothes. In the same way God came down to us to meet our need. Um, so we want to join with people in the community and take the same posture of Christ. And so that's some of what you guys will be doing. So we were at the Frontline Mission Center and we got to help people in the food pantry pick out their food and then we'd send them out the door with a full bag of groceries and everything. I thought it was just great seeing how happy people are when they get gifted uh, food and everything after their struggles of being homeless. And it just made me happy seeing people happy. Yeah, it had like a really big impact on me. It was really eye-opening to see how many people were struggling in the world. Going to one of the church members' houses, he was disabled, and by the time we left, he was almost in tears because of the things that we were able to get accomplished for him that he wasn't able to do for himself. The hands-on mentality, staying humble, and instead of asking what you can do, just seeing if there is anything and just doing it, being the first to say yes and just jump into activities. But mostly just getting to hear their stories and how they kind of came to Alaska and stuff. especially towards the end of the week where the kids really started to get to know to us and like get really comfortable with us. Kind of came up and gave us hugs, really got into like playing and really got into the, the study that we were doing. On the last day of the missions trip, this little girl came up to me and she gave me like a little bouquet of flowers that she had picked from the ground. And she just saw how like happy it made me. And then she said, seeing other people happy makes me really happy. And it just shows like the littlest impacts make the biggest differences in people's lives. It was just really impactful to see the effect that we had on the community. I think I'm going to take home that people are just people. Even though we're in a different place, just be considerate about who's around you and what's going on with them because you never really know. And I know Vietnam was bad news. I was one of the idiots that volunteered. And I was 19 years old when I went in. The wounded, especially the kids, you know, had lost limbs. That's what you didn't want to look at. I still hung on the Lord. The guys that are my age, who was anywhere near what they call H in Orange, we are still dying. I have lost a lot of people. But you know, God is good. And I appreciate the help you guys gave us. I wish I was as good as a bunch of the kids that you brought up. They are awesome guys, awesome.
And my favorite part of the mission trip was probably strengthening relationships with the people I didn't really know because I've been going to this youth group for quite a while now and I'm usually a quiet guy, so I didn't really talk to any and now I'm, I'd say I can call them my friends. Kindness is goodness in action. People are often unreasonable. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people accuse you of having ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you're honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow, but do good anyway. Give the world the very best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It never was between you and them. Thank you to everyone that donated. I just wanted to say thank you for all members of the church. I just wanted to give a big thanks because um, just being out here is like a really big blessing. It's really a life-changing experience and I could see a lot of the lives that we changed. Thank you. Thank you so much. It really was God's intent for us to come, I feel. I would really love to do something like this again. Thank you, CCB. We wouldn't be here without you guys. And God was truly in the story, so thank you. We're here in Alaska doing some VBS, and, <laughs> and we're just hanging out with the kids <laughs> and having fun. You're really impressive! <laughs> and, yeah.